We're going to be palpating a muscle on the second layer of the foot known as the lumbar cols pedis. Now this is a bit of a tricky muscle. Technically there's four bellies, one for each one of the toes minus the big toe. And it is in that, like I said, that second layer. So we're going to be sinking through a bit of tissue here to try and activate it. And it also is a tricky action. But first we're going to talk about its origin. I'm just going to roll this foot a little bit to the side. So if you've watched quadratus plantae or a previous video on flexor digitorum longus, we have learned its pathway of this tendon, flexor digitorum longus. It's coming out from behind the medial malleolus, enters into the foot, a little proximal to the navicular bone, and then it travels across, heading towards the fifth metatarsal. Off of it, there's a tendon for each one of the toes, minus the big toe, and the lumbricals pedis is actually originating on that tendon. So you have to have somewhat of an idea of where the flexor digitorum longus tendons are. And as I get closer and closer to the fifth, it actually shortens. So because it's on a diagonal, this one is the shortest versus this one is more the longest of those individual toe tendons. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna add a little resistance to the distal phalanx. He's gonna curl his toe against my resistance. Perfect, just like that. I'm gonna feel for this tendon, and then I'm gonna drop medially. So I almost wanna be in between the first and second metatarsal in this area, and here comes the tricky action. So what you're gonna ask your person to do is to flex at the MTP, but hold the toe in extension. So I'm gonna show them the action first. So it's gonna look something like this. And I'm also gonna demonstrate it with my hand for you viewers, just so you can kind of see. So the same hand muscle in lumbricals manus creates an action that looks something like this. And that's gonna be the similar action that it's trying to do inside the toes. So it's flexing the metatarsal phalangeal joint while it holds the IP joints into extension because of his attachment to the dorsal digital expansion. So we can ask our person and see if he's able to do that action on his own. And again, we might end up with kind of a funky action of the toes moving around a little bit. He actually is getting a little bit of that action. So I'm gonna show you an additional way to try and help them fire it off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take his foot and we're gonna to try to put it on a flat surface. So we're gonna bend at the knee all the way up so the toes are on a flat surface. I'm gonna have my hand here as an example as well. And they're gonna to try to push their finger pads or toe pads into the surface without curling them up. So this is keeping the toes in extension while flexing across this metatarsal phalangeal joint. So you might have them do that and practice once or twice. I know he's able to do that action. It just might be easier to do it against some resistance than it is up in the air. So again, let's try that one more time. Push those toes down. Good. And now we're gonna bring his leg back out. Okay. So in between metatarsal one and two, I'm gonna ask him to try and do that. Push down with his toe like so. Good, hold that right there as I'm palpating the belly for this first lumbrical of the foot. And it's going to be inserting into the base of the proximal phalanx and then wrapping around onto the dorsal digital expansion of that second toe. Same idea, we're gonna go in between metatarsal two and three and see if you can push down with that. Great, just like that. And I'm gonna follow that to the same insertion for that third toe. And we're gonna repeat the same process for the next two toes. So in between the metatarsal, and then again for our last pinky toe in between four and five here. And I'm trying to sink in between while they're doing that generic kind of push down motion, and we follow it to the proximal phalanx and the dorsal digital expansion. So one more time, just repeat the actions. It is going to be flexing the metatarsal phalangeal joint, as well as it's extending both the proximal and distal interphalangeal joints for toes two through five. And that's gonna conclude our palpation of the lumbricals pedis.